So this is what the Brisbane City Council call an improvement, getting rid of the <laughs> getting rid of the health risk. They said that they will remove dead vegetation, green waste. A lie. A whole lot of people involved in it accepted. I solicited a bribe from my sister that they're trying to get my use my mother's money and get me to pay for. They're plundering my land, plundering it, vandalizing it. Destroying my business, my businesses. Look what they did to this beautiful tree. Dying. That's what they did. Not just that. Not just that. I show you what they did to the roots of the tree, which are very important for the tree's health. Council wouldn't tell me. I spoke to Jacob Mead. He said he did what was necessary according to the enforcement order done by a woman called Ngia Tran because it's of Nia it's with N-G-H-I-A she's Vietnamese and she's a power tripper she's also extremely malicious and crooked they quoted my sister Forty thousand dollars to clear my land, destroy and plunder it. They would have made a lot more than forty thousand dollars from the plants that they stole. This part, the back garden, has absolutely heaps of monster plants. Call the monsteria, the monstera, these plants, these beautiful plants. They store at least 200, more than that, because they grow from the roots on their stems. It said they also found three dead possums. The possums were from the poisoning that resulted in me being admitted for a week to the PA hospital. I was paralyzed, I almost died. My cousin said, who came and saw me, Shirani, said you were at death's door. I was at death's door. I'll show you the proof of the poison, more proof of the poison. So this whole place was full of bamboo. Every last one was taken. This tree is a Chinese elm tree. It's been poisoned. It was dead. Then they, I had a mango tree here amongst the amongst the bamboo. Beautiful mango tree. There was another mango tree there that was removed. There was a condong around there. The native tree. And right here was the self-seeded wattle, broad-leafed wattle. 
to all native plants. Over there, there were two beautiful golden grevilleas. No, a white grevillea and a golden grevillea. They were cut down and destroyed. There were quite a few Chinese elm trees. They started doing it in September, 19th of September. My sister's team, led by Michael Casamati. I posted that already on YouTube. But for this cruel and vindictive attack on my business and me, my businesses, they locked me up. They locked me up to rob me. It involved the Queensland Police Service, QPS, both Maruka and Holland Park, and up and around Cravat. It involved the QAS, Queensland Ambulance Service. They gave them authority to break my door and come into my house and take me away. Arrogant people. Arrogant, arrogant people. Yeah, I'll tell you what else. They stole. I had the Q QAS or the police and the police asked me why I had a whole lot of $50 notes in my bath. They cited this as evidence of mental illness, that I was washing $50 notes. When I came back from being locked up after being released, all the fifty dollar notes in the bath, they left only three. It took about a thousand dollars. That's just thieving, isn't it? This robbery. That was after the Holland Park woman called Anya Alexander and a guy male. Policemen, they call themselves, wearing rubber gloves. Blue rubber gloves, they don't leave fingerprints. But I'm determined. Determined to get my business back. I don't know if this tree is going to survive. You can see the branches. This is a very serious wound for a tree. So the people who made the complaints in Tran wouldn't tell me who they were. They said it was the people at the back of the house. I had This is where all the monsterias or monsters were. There was the lots of ferns. Ferns and this cactus. I'm not that wrapped on the cactus, but I am on the ferns and monsters. It gives me access. I've never been, I couldn't get here the back of the house. This is a jacaranda. It's quite healthy. Oh, the beautiful jacaranda flowers. Jacarandas are quite similar 
to Royal Pontianas. They destroyed all my Royal Pontianas. Flamboyant trees, they call them. But, <laughs> that's one of the parties that made the complaint. Neither Casamati came and conferred with Miller, and he also conferred with Morel on this side. Morel's a spy for the Richmond Football Club, Raytheon and BHP. His friend from Raytheon that supplied the lethal aid missiles to Ukraine, Australian governments and Scott Morrison and subsequently his replacements Albanese initially spent seventy million dollars of our money to buy Raytheon missiles and send them to Ukraine. It so happened that the the goon, the fat goon, thug, security guard he calls himself, who my sister employed to keep the job safe, keep Casimati safe. Yeah, he was called himself James, wouldn't tell me his surname. But he admitted that his father worked for Raytheon. Raytheon. That's not a coincidence. Yeah. Miller is on this side. He's got spy devices on his roof. They all do. I'm charging $25 per byte for all my data that has been stolen by this house. 74 Vegan Drive and their occupants. occupants. These are PBs, magpie larks. They like the water. They're wading birds. As you can see, I'm a lot better recovering from the poison. They killed a donut. Most of people don't know what a donut is. It's a little rodent, Australian rodent. Was the one down there by the fence. I got something else that I noticed. Yeah, this is where all the ferns were. There were heaps of ferns. With these plants that are coming up, a carapincha, curry leaves. They're good. They escape from. Morel's block. So that's new stock. I suppose this. This wasn't there before. Yeah, I had other evidence that they tried to set my forest on fire. I tried to set my forest in fire. You can see how this slash damaged my tree. 
And this is what the Brisbane City Council says. It's clean, green and sustainable. When I first told that to India Trent, he said, yes, it's green and sustainable, but it's not clean. They call this cleaning up today. Yeah, they clean me up all right. They brought in a bulldozer, as my sister threatened. I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would be that evil. But I was wrong. Millions and millions of dollars worth of damage. They didn't want me to be a primary producer. No. This is more damage to the root. It's very serious damage. Then this one's been poisoned and mutilated. This is another Chinese. Another Chinese elm tree. And this is the poison paralyzed me. I couldn't eat. It took me an hour to butter a slice of bread and eat it. it. Took me half an hour to put on a pillowcase. I couldn't kept falling over. Kept falling over. I couldn't balance properly. I was very weak. I couldn't turn over in bed. Went on for three three nights before I realized that I had to go to the hospital. So I, they cut off my phone to stop me contacting anyone. So I had to go around and ask to be a callus to call the police, call the ambulance. See? Just vandalized my garden. Sunday dish. And they I spoke to Jacob Mead, who was an enforcer. Enforcer, we don't need enforcers. People are criminals. Paul Maloney, Jacob Mead, Ngia Tran, who's the other fellow, Brett Sell. It was my frog. I had a frog breathing, a frog breathing program. I was still having difficulty talking, but I'm a lot better than I was. So I'm claiming the property of the people who stolen my data, stolen my plants, stolen my property and got me locked up. I'm seizing their property. It's a procedure of crime. And they're happy to get me locked up. Let's see what they like being locked up themselves. Clean, green and sustainable. This flows down to the creek, directly down there. So, what I'm doing 
is leaving a low carbon footprint. That's what I was doing. And I'm still doing. I hadn't used motors. I had two lawnmowers, but I stopped using them. Because they're bad for the environment and nature. I had heaps of skinks, different lizards, frogs, butterflies, caterpillars, beetles, ants. Just kill them. Just kill them. Needless to say, I'm pretty upset about it. Yeah, I'm pretty upset about it. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.